Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of the Coppa Nacional semi-final. Today it's AC Milan against Spezia. Let's head straight for the San Siro. What an atmosphere we have. Always special at this stadium, of course, when we have floodlit matches. Your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. That's exactly how these matches over two legs should really be, because the uh, home team did its job in the first leg. Now they're here in the away leg. Are they good enough to hang on to the lead that they got in the first match? I think it will be tough for them. They're strong at home here, these teams. So I think defensively they're going to be uh, right at it. What are the changes for Milan? Federico Marchetti starts in goal. Salvatore Bocchetti replaces Alex, who's looked vulnerable recently. Ricardo Montolivo comes in for Andrea Poli, who's been out of sorts lately. Jeremy Menes starts together with Giampaolo Pazzini. the visitors shape up. Milano is the official today. So the referee blows and the Coppa Nazionale semi-final is underway here. Well, I think there's going to be not much to choose between these two teams and uh, on this stage it's going to be a cracking atmosphere, I think. In with the chance. That'll mean a lot to him, that particular goal. Well, the first goal is always important for any player, and that should enable him to kick on and feel a lot more comfortable now. And no thoughts in his mind to blast it. He's just placed it in, side-footed it into the bottom left. Well, here's the goal again. of the margin on aggregate to 3 0. Terrific tackle. That's the way to win the ball back. Could be dangerous. Jeremy Menes. He went in well. Montalivo's in the middle. Bonaventura. Well, he's got support here. Opportunity to cross it now. into the face of the opposition. That's a serious situation. We well, could be in. We've got room to go on to goal. That's a penalty, it had to be.
because he spotted the keeper moving and just stroked it home down the middle. And here is another angle on that goal. And the aggregate margin is widened to 4 0. Giampaolo Pazzini. Here's Essien. Pazzini. Cross blocked well by the defender, and it's gone out clearly off that player. That's the penalty that has uh, brought joy to the scorer. Pazzini, and it's in for Milan. What a volley that is. Top left-hand corner, really, the keeper. No chance at all. And that's a goal well worth analysing again. It's an exhibition here with such great passing. Well, he's been given the ball, really. He didn't have to do too much to get it. It's a poor pass. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. They've got to keep the ball better than this because it's just a giveaway to the opposition. Mattia Destro, one of the main strikers, is out for the home team today, Alan. Yeah, and he's, uh, he's waiting with a few goals and uh, he's always in that first team lineup and it will be a blow. And he's got to get it away now. Can he turn away from the challenge here? Slipped his man. connection was it you've got to hit these uh, new footballs right in the middle right on that sweet spot yeah and he's normally quite reliable when it comes to striking the ball but got that one a little bit wrong Michael Essien Past his man here. It's got to be. Well, that's another goal from a player that they brought in for this season. And it was a very wise move, Alan. I think it was. He's uh, done himself justice. He's uh, proved that uh, he was worth all the effort to bring him to the club. And that's flown past the keeper before, really, he could react. A good look here, again, by the replay of the goal. Score 5-1. Giampaolo Pazzini. Pazzini. 
Jimenez. Oh, it's out of play, off the player. It's a corner for Milan. And here comes uh, a player to help him on his left. And he oh, and it's just wide. And he's gone for the corner and he's not missed it by much, but wasted opportunity. Giampaolo Pazzini. And the decision from the referee via the fourth official is five added minutes. This is the chance. Got to be. He's scored a second goal here. And he's showing his new fans what he's made of. Yeah, he's, he's settling in and looking better and better by the match. And this couple of goals won't do him any harm at all. Steered that home superbly first time into the bottom left corner. Coming up another look at it, Alan, that will show us something. Score 6-1. Mazzini. Montalivo. De Chilio. A very good first half of the second leg of the semi-final and it's put them on the brink now of a place in the final itself well, they will have their strikers to thank if they get themselves through because they've been absolutely lethal well the first half has given us a bit of a guide here as to what's going to happen as to who's going to go through and who's going to go out yeah i think deservedly lead, leading at the break and uh, what a carrot to knock out their opponents from this tournament they just keep it together last 45. Well, one-way traffic in that first half. It looks all done and dusted. I just can't see that big lead being lost. Let's take a look at the highlights from the first half and then we'll be back over to your commentary team for the rest of the match. sure whether the trailing team will be looking forward to this another 45 minutes to go Brilliant team play this, with the passing, the movement off the ball to make the passing possible. And he takes the shot, there's still a chance after the save.
Well, I'm going to make a substitution here. Here's the shot. It is all about playing for pride now. They're well beaten, but they still want another goal. And it's a change in midfield that we're about to see take place now. That's where games can be won and lost, and at the moment, uh, they're not holding their own, are they? No, they're not. And his ball retention was poor, he gave it away too much, got harried out of it, he just wasn't up to the speed of the game. Mancini. Showing it's a physical game when it's a fair one too, and that's a great challenge. Out comes the goalkeeper with the punch. And now he's looking for some support. In towards Abate. He's gone for goal. Well, it was a bit of panic, I think, at the end, Alan. Well, in front of goal, in that manner, he's a top-flight player. He should not be missing by that distance. goes the cross and he's in there with a the header it's a second goal for him in this game and another indication of what a good sign he was at the start of the season yeah you always know what you're going to get with this lad if he has a bad day it's normally a seven out of ten Goal, really, almost from another planet. Well, he could hardly miss that from the right wing. That was a perfect delivery. And they got their reward for it. Well, he's a, he's a fantastic header of the ball, and his he's marker stood no chance there. Well, this team is taking a resounding lead. Mancini. Supported through the centre. Good challenge here. Velotti. it back Velotti that's offside the referee has stopped the play as soon as the flag went up Keeping. Here we'll see what they can manage from the corner. <laughs> well, he's a goal. He's kept it out. They can't get it away. Corner again. Well, 
that's marvellous for Milan, their goal. Well, the defenders just stood rooted to the spot on the edge of the box, and what a poor one to concede. Let's have another peek at that goal. Two, the score. Well, he's run his race to forward, including two goals. He certainly finished those chances well, and uh, it just gives someone else an opportunity for the remainder of the game. It does, and it will do his confidence the world a good going into the next few weeks, and as we all know, that's what strikers thrive on, confidence. Giampaolo Pazzini. a good chance now to cross possibility goal fantastic header and I doubt he would have executed many better headers than that in his career top left hand corner a good look here again by the replay of the goal Great display of attacking football by both teams. Lotti. Here he is with a chance, got to be. That's no problem for the goalkeeper, it's straight at him. Club got to be. Oh, he scored. And what a first season he's having. Yeah, just at the right moment for him. Might be a big goal in this football match. And the way he's curled that up into the top right hand corner. Well, the keeper, he can only wave at that. Well, let's take another look at the goal. Both teams scoring plenty of goals, and it's a wonderful attacking match. Zapata. You don't often hear this club's support this quiet. They're so disappointed, and they can't even muster any abuse. <laughs> I'm sure maybe in the phone-ins and what have you, they'll, uh, they'll be angry afterwards, but they're in shock here. Three minutes. That's all that's left now. Velotti. This match is making us raise a few eyebrows, and certainly those who predicted it would go one way have got it absolutely wrong. Well, they have. I mean, uh, this team are, are so in charge, it's frightening at the moment. Didn't hesitate, did he, with that challenge?
takes the shot off. He's reached it, but I don't know how. No cross, good block. Giampaolo Pazzini. Desilio. Milan, a chance for them. He's gone for goal. There was the chance for his second goal of the game. Well played the keeper. Yeah, he was determined not to be beaten that time. Well, there we are. That is the final whistle. The referee has had a lot of work to do here. And the final score is six goals to three. Well, that's the end of this drawn-out semi-final over the two legs. And they are through. They've made it to the final on aggregate. Well, they can start celebrating now. They've put in an awful amount of effort over those two legs. And I think they deserve it. So what a game that was. Breathless stuff. So many goals, and after all that, the visitors prevail. I'll leave you the full match highlights, and until next time, I've been Jeff Stelling. See you soon.